Hey, my name is Amira and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a try-on haul from Princess Polly. So Princess Polly is one of my favorite online shops. The quality is really nice as well. And when I started going to beauty events and stuff, I just had like a few kind of black pieces, like staples, but like I never really went out anywhere to have nice outfits. And I knew that I would find like a really nice outfit for 80, 50 to 80 bucks instead of like over a hundred or more. I'm wearing to an event, so I'm gonna be photographed in a heap. So I'm probably not gonna wear again. Having said that, I have worn quite a few pieces again and I have really started to like delve into casual and work clothes and stuff from them as well now. So I've got like a big assortment of things from them. So I actually have two orders worth of stuff here. I've got like this and a pile of stuff that I got the other week and some of it I've worn already. Then we also have this. So we have a big bag of stuff that just came yesterday. Before we jump in, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know down below what your favorite pieces from this haul are as well. I obviously know what my favorites from this stuff I've already tried on, but like this order that just came, like I'm not sure, I'm excited, I hope we got some good stuff there. I'm gonna leave links and style names and stuff down below because I've ripped off some of the tags and stuff. And I'm also gonna leave Casey Brimblecombe's code down there because she has a discount code and I use it every time I shop at Princess Polly now because I just freaking am obsessed. So this is the first piece and the camera is like kind of set up weird because I am not wearing pants yet because I have another bodysuit as well and I want to show you the pants with that one and I don't want to take them on and off and stuff. My only issue with not just these bodysuits but any bodysuits in general is the little clasp under the crutch is so far up the back it's actually not practical like I can't reach it and I can't do it up anyway I absolutely adore this so much I've already worn it quite a few times it's like a really beautiful flattering cut I'm pretty sure I got it in a 10 and I could have probably got it in an 8 because it has like all this ruching it's got so much fabric around here so yeah I could have definitely got it in a smaller size um, but having said that, because of this style, like it doesn't matter if there's a bit extra fabric around here. The bottoms are not a thong, but they are more cheeky cut. When I wear them with more high-waisted things, I kind of just like pull it up, give myself a bit of a wedgie so I don't get any like panty lines around the sides. It's like one of those kind of silky cotton materials. I don't know, I really, really, really love it with like these high-waisted black pants that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Oh my goodness, they are so freaking amazing. So this is the next little outfit. I wore this to the NYX Face Awards actually. So this is a lace bodysuit. So if I pull these pants down a bit, you can see it's like got some sheer mesh um, panelings and some lace panelings. These bits across the bust are actually sheer as well. Like if I put my hand there, you can see like, you know, it's the lace detailing and sheer. It's not completely, you know, you can see through it. So I have like a black strapless bra and so this is my strapless bra. This is quite low cut. I wouldn't wear a bra with this and when I did wear it out, I wore it with some black booby tape, just kind of here just to give like a little bit of a lift. This is like all mesh at the back so like you know if I wasn't wearing the strapless bra yeah you'd see through here it's really really gorgeous. Um, I didn't want to just put like booby tape on for one outfit though because that would be a waste. And then these are the pants. So I am so obsessed with these pants. You can size down and they still do have that more like scrunched up look. They are so 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 freaking cute like I absolutely love them. They've got this thick waistband bit here and then it kind of you know pleats and goes out and there's like some real pockets and they're good size too and they sit really nice and flat so you can shove your phone in there if you're quickly just like you know running around and stuff I've worn these for business meetings I've worn them to events I've worn them all over the place and every time I wear them I get stopped and I get asked where they're from and then I also get asked the style name can I remember the style name no but I've had to pull it up in my emails and have a look for people but yeah these pants are just everything to me. I don't actually think that these two go together that well just because of the fabric of these pants, but this is this little crop top that I got. It's this like more plaid design and it has these cute little puffy sleeves that just sit up. I thought they were meant to be like that, but that's not right. They sit up and they kind of like, yeah, puff out like that and they go tighter at the bottom. I think this is really, really adorable. I just need to find the right pants to wear with it. I think it's kind of like businessy, ish I see I need to find the proper bottoms to wear with it um, but yeah it's adorable so these are the other pants they definitely don't go with what I'm wearing because the um, print on both of them are different but 
yeah, I don't know. I can't remember what I ordered. I remember a few things from the other order, but yeah, I don't know if there's like another top that would be better in that one to wear with it. So these are just like a straight leg pant. They're not like skinny or anything. They're just, yeah, like a straight leg and they have this like paper bag kind of top with a drawstring. Um, they sit like just off the ground. I have these like pointy mules coming that I think are going to be perfect to wear with them. They look really nice and they're really flattering but yeah I just haven't quite figured out how to style them yet. So then we have this jacket so it's like a nice fluffy jacket but it's a longer one so it sits yeah um, just below the knees. It's so so nice and warm. What size did I get this in? I think I got it in a small-ish size. Yeah, I got it in a size 8. I usually get my jackets, like most people kind of size up in their jackets, but stuff like this, I prefer it to sit quite open, like, because it folds over, I can pull it in if I'm like outside, you know, walking to the car or something, but I like it to sit a bit more open so you can kind of see the outfit as well. So yeah, that's why I don't like to size up for jackets generally. I've worn it a bunch of times already. It's so, so, so warm. Next we have this jumpsuit from the Sammy Robinson collection. So when I got this, I actually posted it on my Insta stories and I did a poll and I asked, should I return it? Like a lot of people said yes. It's not like the most flattering, I don't think, on me when I just try it on, but I'm way too lazy to return anything. And like everyone said I look like a painter as well. So like I see it. And yeah, I don't think it looks like that good on me, but at the same time, I really like how it makes my bum look. Um, so I thought like if I wear it down a little bit with maybe like a cuter bra, so there's like a little bit of skin and I have like big hair, some accessories, maybe even find like a nice belt to go around it that yeah might kind of like dress it up and the right heels. I don't have like bits bulging out in any spots. So like I think that if I accessorize it right, I might look okay in it. Yeah, I don't know why I just really kind of was drawn to this one in the collection maybe not the best pick that I could have got but I just wanted to pick something like a little bit different because I like to be a little bit different sometimes I don't know if this one was worth it um, you guys can let me know down below what you think I should use to accessorize this with to make it look a bit more dressy because yeah I don't know so I've just opened up the bag of everything that is hundred percent new that I haven't tried on yet these are some khaki pants these are actually gorgeous um, I really really like these how they fit. They're like a nice kind of baggy fit. They're like skim over the big the big bit in my thighs and they have like this little um, tight bit at the bottom and they kind of stop like this far from my ankle. So it's so hard to show you my full body because I'm like against the wall and the tripod's against the wall as well. So these actually make me look like really um, I don't know, I always thought skinny jeans were what I wanted, like skinny pants, skinny like everything. When I actually wear stuff that's like a little bit more straight leg, it doesn't make this big bit, this bit looks so big in comparison to being smaller down there. It just kind of balances me a little bit better. So yeah, I really like these pants. This top, I can't figure out how, to go, how it goes. I feel like the model was just wearing it just tied up right in the front. That's really low cut. That's like here. I probably wouldn't wear these two together just because of like the double tie thing going on. Um, but this top is actually really cute. I like it wrapped around more than I think how it was on the model. It has these really unique sleeves, which I didn't realize. So I thought they were just kind of baggy and like bunched up, but they actually have like little stitches in them. So they sit like that more kind of puffy ruched um, style fit. I'd be tempted to take out this um, waist tie for the pants and put like an actual little belt on there and then this would actually be like a really cute outfit as well so yeah I don't know I think that yeah just like the two ties no but if this was a proper belt yes. So this is the next little top it has these like open sleeves low-ish cut not too low cut though it's quite flowy but we have this like little waistband bit that we can tie up at the back it zips up the full way to the back but because I'm home um, alone at the moment filming I don't really want to like pull it all the way up I have like a bad shoulder I dislocated it when I was like a little kid so um, if I kind of force myself to do it sometimes I'll hurt it and they're already kind of sore so yeah just imagine it does all the way up to the back, but yeah, you can't tell from the front. Um, it's a really, really cute top. I really like it. I actually think these look um, really, really nice together as well. The top also has these like little dots on it as well, on the fabric. I don't know if you can see it on camera. 
Maybe if I go under one of the layers, you can see yeah, all like the little dots, they um, sit up and off the fabric. So this is the IMG jacket in an extra small. This is the cream color. I already have this in the small and it's so oversized. I just, it's like just a little bit too big still. So yeah, I like that this one's just, yeah, I just wanted it a little bit more small. So when I wear it out and yeah, it will still easily zip up and be oversized. Um, but yeah, sometimes I feel like it's just a little bit too big and I just love it so much. And I've already worn the other one heaps. So, you know, it's not like I can exchange or anything. But yeah, I just really love the cream color because I feel like everyone has the camel color. So I don't know. I just like to be a little bit different, but because I love it so much, I did get the camel color as well. So the bigger one has actually been my favorite jacket. Like I love it. I want one just to lounge around all the time in and just wear every day pretty much. And when I go out to do errands and stuff, when it's really cold because it is so, so warm. So yes, I decided to get the camel one as well in the size down. And I just want to wear this like more so a bit casually. I feel like it doesn't look as dressy being this darker color. It looks really good with what I'm wearing now, I think as well. So I don't know, I think it looks really nice, but I wanted this one, yeah, more to wear like lounging around and stuff, but just like lounging around the house, I felt really guilty doing it in the cream one, you know, cause I've got two dogs and just in general, like I'm a mess. So I didn't want to, yeah, like stain it immediately. So I thought this one will be a little bit more forgiving of just like everyday wear and tear. So this is the last little top. This definitely doesn't go with what I'm wearing now, but that's okay. It's also khaki. You can see it's like a little bit different color of khaki. It also has adjustable straps, which I am obsessed with. So yeah, this fits really nicely. It looks really cute. I need to find, like I think it'll look good with jeans or something. But yeah, I am loving it. Not so much this full khaki number with double bows, maybe a little bit much. But then I did also get a makeup item. So if you guys didn't know, Princess Polly also stocks some makeup brands. I think they've got Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They have Benefit Cosmetics. They have Ofra. So I've wanted to try an Ofra highlighter for so long, but I have so many highlighters guys. My drawer is overflowing of highlighters. The Anne Reezy one is just my favorite. I wear it all the time from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I couldn't really justify buying like another full size highlighter when I I know I don't need any. So they actually have the minis now. So I thought, yes, okay, I can justify that. So I got the mini highlighter from Ofra in Rodeo Drive. So I'm just gonna put a bit of that on. I'm gonna use my high cheekbone highlighter from Sigma, which is available in the Amir May favorites brush set. And we're just gonna like, Oh my goodness, I can see in the mirror. I'm like looking in the viewfinder and I'm like, I think that looks really nice. In this mirror, oh my goodness, I can see it's like glowing from the other side of the room. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Oh, yes, I finally have something to mix up filming with because I feel like I'm always using Amrezy because I just know it looks so nice. So like if I'm filming an Instagram video, I'm gonna go film like, you know, some try on hauls and some other YouTube videos and stuff. And I know that that one looks so nice on camera. This looks really nice on camera. Oh my goodness. I wonder if like from back here, cause I know my other one stands out really nicely from the other side of the room. Does it stand out guys? It does in person. It definitely does in person for the mirror over there. I love it. Oh my goodness. This is really nice. I wasn't sure what color to get, but my friend Tony told me that this was the one, Rodeo Drive, the one that I needed. It looks so nice. Anyway, guys, that was my massive Princess Polly haul. Please pray for my bank account. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite was down below, where you want to see me do a try on haul from next, or just a video request in general. And yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.